Now that you've taken notes with your LiveScribe Smart Pen, let's sync them to our desktop. You can easily do so by using the included USB cable to sync the two devices together. As soon as you plug the pen in, it will immediately recognize it and begin syncing it with the LiveScribe desktop software. And immediately, all your notes show up. By right-clicking on a note, you get a lot of options. You can print that note, add to a custom notebook for organization, delete and copy pages, and you can also send the page to numerous other services. We'll talk about that in a minute. By simply double-clicking on a note, it opens in the LiveScribe desktop software and is ready for playback. You can click on anywhere you wrote on your note to begin playback from that point. It shows your writing motion and plays back the audio from that exact minute. You can zoom in and out and adjust the clarity of the text. And again, by simply clicking on any word, you immediately pick up where you were at that moment when you were writing the note. Now there are a lot of playback options below. You can adjust the playback speed, either faster or slower. You can also use the bookmarks you created during recording to jump back and forth between important points. There's also the jump buttons, which bring you back and forth by 30 seconds, as well as a slider that allows you to jump to anywhere in your note. When you right-click on a note, you can go down to Send. This will allow you to put the note to numerous services, including email, your computer, Evernote, Facebook, Google Docs, and My Livescribe. In this case, we're going to send it to the computer. Now you can output the page with the audio, the page only, and the audio only. But in this case, I'm going to show you one of the coolest features, the PenCast PDF. When you export the PenCast PDF, it will play on any computer that has the latest version of Adobe Reader. It works in the same functionality as the LiveScribe desktop software, in that you can watch as the text is written, click anywhere in the text to play back, and adjust playback settings right within Reader. So here's the note we were previously looking at, this time opened in Adobe Reader. I have the same playback controls as I did in LiveScribe Desktop. I can use the slider to jump around, including go to my bookmarks, which are also carried over. And by clicking anywhere on the text, I can jump to that exact moment in the audio and written recording. And that's a quick look at how to use the LiveScribe Desktop software to share and view notes you've recorded with the LiveScribe SmartPen.